Thank you. Uh, give me uh, this opportunity uh, to uh, give a brief uh, introduction about the China, uh, both China and the world uh, by uh, 30, uh, 2030. Uh, 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 this is uh, our new book uh, published the Chinese version last uh, October. Uh, the uh, total uh, <coughs> uh, topic, uh, how to let the China step by step uh, forward the uh, common uh, prosperity society. Even talk about it, uh, the world, how to per, uh, step by step promote what we call the Datong world. I will be uh, give a definition. Uh, this book, uh, English version, uh, uh, will be published this month by the Springer. Uh, uh, this is the first time we not only uh, forecast uh, the China in future, but also the first time to give the forecast in the world. As you know, the China and the world, very dynamic interaction between them. Uh, today, uh, time very limitation. I gave a briefly uh, introduction of this uh, uh, lectures. Uh, there be less than my presentation uh, in the uh, internet. So, <coughs> the, I quickly gave a briefly uh, conclusion for the, our research or forecast uh, the world by 2030. Uh, firstly, uh, that means the world, uh, the, uh, the world into the uh, world golden growth age. Secondly, the world industry structure readjustment gave the our opportunity to how to follow up, uh, even the utilized. The third, that means the third new round of the ec economic. Uh, globalization, not only by the uh, developed country, but also uh, developed country like China. The fourth, uh, that means uh, science and technology and the innovation revolution. Uh, the four, uh, fifth, uh, global aging and fuel uh, child children, nation, especially uh, in the developing country, even the China, uh, and rapidly globalization, that part I call the uh, global uh, green uh, revolution. I call the, the fourth time, uh, fourth uh, industry uh, revolution. Uh, <coughs> the firstly, uh, uh, why we call the uh, the world into the uh, third. Uh, a golden uh, growth age. If I look at the historical record, uh, first uh, <coughs> golden age uh, in the period of 19, uh, eight, uh, 1870 to the 1913, uh, the world uh, economic growth reached to the 2.1 percent. Second uh, golden age uh, since 1950 to the 19. 73, the world <coughs> economic growth reached to the peak of nearly the 4.9%. This is based on Angus Madison database. Here gave a very professional uh, solid research. If based on uh, Madison database, we are continue to forecast uh, 2030, uh, we found it the world into the third uh, got the age will be reached to the 3.5 percent. This conclusion we are uh, how to say forecast before uh, uh, international financial crisis uh, in 2008. Uh, but even uh, financial crisis coming not pass, we believe in uh, this world will be continue to uh, go to age. 
That means uh, driving by the, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, the North Country. Uh, if I look at uh, the map, uh, uh, <coughs> the GDP share of the world uh, uh, total by uh, two kind of the country. Uh, one is what we call the uh, uh, South Country. Uh, uh, second is the North Country. Uh, we find the map uh, of the economic uh, geographic uh, big change. If I look at the South's uh, share of the world total, uh, since 1820, from 70% uh, decline to uh, nearly the 40% in 1950, even maintain this uh, uh, ratio until 2000. When the 2000, uh, the South country, the share first time to uh, over than 50%, reach to the 52.4%. That means the, war, <coughs> the China and the India uh, gave a contribution, a big change. By 2030, uh, South's uh, country share will be reached to the uh, more than the 66 percent. Uh, even the China will be reached to the uh, 33.4 percent. Uh, meanwhile, North country uh, from 47.6 in 2010 declined to 33 percent. This uh, reflects the South's North country big change. Uh, that means uh, from uh, 70 to the 30, uh, north to the south, in the uh, 1820, uh, shift to 30 to the 70 in 1950. But now, uh, recovery, uh, this is a very like a typical, we call the U curve uh, uh, <coughs> for the south countries. Uh, if I look at the uh, industry structure global, a big change, uh, even the agriculture share continue decline, industry continue decline, uh, uh, service uh, sector continue uh, increase. Uh, <coughs> if I look at the uh, map of the trade, both export and the import uh, in the global, you find it the South country uh, will be continue to uh, increase, reach to the 72 percent by 2030. The China will be continue from now 10 percent increase to the one of the uh, fourth of the world total. The meanwhile import share big change from now uh, 40 more than 40 percent for the South increase the 60 percent. The China from now, 9 percent, increase to 27 percent. We find, we forecast the China will be from a trade surplus country, uh, shift to the balance between the import and export, even uh, become a net import country if the China continue to open outside. Uh, the look at the FDI, the China quickly become the newcomer. Uh, in 1980, uh, the China very small the ratio, that's only account for 0 0.1 percent of world total. But now uh, become number two or number three, uh, reach to the 8.5 percent of the world. In the 2020 uh, will be increased 15 percent. 2030 uh, will be reached to the 20 percent. That means the China quickly become a newcomer for the uh, uh, foreign, uh, foreign direct investment host country, even the uh, uh, outside, uh, go outside. So how to? utilize the China opportunity.
That means how to absorb China FDI. This is uh, for the uh, global. So I, I, I think the China uh, quickly to uh, become a newcomer, uh, new FDI, uh, we need a lot of the international cooperation, especially international business cooperation. Uh, this is a uh, reflect the China uh, more and more uh, promote the economic uh, globalization from uh, export, import, even the uh, FDI after flow or inflow. <coughs> more and more uh, integration. So if I look at uh, the R&D uh, and uh, S&D, science and technology, the China quickly become a newcomer to promote uh, science and technology cooperation. This is a reflex that China have a very strong uh, uh, human capital uh, advantage. Uh, in 1980, uh, 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 the China science and technology personal uh, full time research that's only uh, 320. But now, uh, more than the 1.9 uh, million, the new data last year, uh, is a uh, number one uh, over than you and the US. By 2020, I directly involved in the China uh, uh, national uh, long-term development of the talents of profession uh, uh, 2010 to the 2020 will be reached to the 3 million. Uh, that means uh, scientists uh, engineering in the R&D, uh, this uh, field. By 2030, it uh, will be more than the 4.2 uh, billion, uh, 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 5 billion, that means uh, summer of the EU under the US. That means the China will become biggest R&D uh, base. Uh, even now, uh, the multi uh, company set up the R&D institution uh, more than 1,700. Uh, 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 1, in 1995, that's only 203. So this is a reflect the China human capital, especially R&D. Uh, will give opportunity that the China R&D more and more internationalization, uh, more and more international cooperation, uh, become a new center of the R&D. Uh, <coughs> if I look at the uh, global aging uh, uh, population rapidly increase, uh, uh, even the China. Uh, if I look at the uh, global uh, 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 challenge, we call the number one, uh, uh, that means the global climate change. Uh, so the human being, how to respond? We think about it, we need to together to initial a false industrialization revolution. We call the green uh, revolution. That means uh, we need to uh, develop uh, the green uh, production, green energy, green consumption, green architecture, green house, even the green transportation. This is uh, reflect the human being uh, need to uh, <coughs> pursue the new pattern, new model to development. Uh, <coughs> uh, I have a, a special, uh, another book to focus on this uh, topic. Uh, if I look at uh, the future in the world, we call the Datong Society. That means a common perspective. Why <coughs> we believe in even the optimism. Uh, I calculated the catch-up index of the GDP per capita. Uh, 
That means the North Country uh, equal to 100%. If I look at the South Asian developing country, China and uh, India, we find the curve uh, since 1820. We call the divergences, uh, great divergences. Even look at 1950, South country account for about 20%. Continual decline after 2000, this curve <coughs> reverse uh, increase to the 18 percent last 10 years. Uh, if the by 2030 will be increased to more than uh, 30 percent, why North country or South country from a great divergences? shift to the great convergences. I think the China, Indian, and Asia developed country and other some emerging developed country give a contribution. They are quickly to a convergences with North country, especially like China uh, with the US. Uh, not only from uh, per capita GDP, but also education indicators, health indicators, even the HDI, Human Development Index. This is why we concern us or focus on human being. Uh, we are look at, this is a good news. Even the poverty uh, of solute international standard, uh, poverty incident rate rapidly declined, uh, especially China and uh, India. Uh, the China next step, uh, target, that means get off all the absolute uh, poverty population. Uh, the, uh, if I look at the, the Da Tong, the peace, Da Tong word, what means? We gave a clear the definition. One is the peaceful, the word. That means it depends on the Chinese leaders. Second, uh, we call the harmonious world. This is the uh, announcement by the, our president, uh, Hu Jintao, 2004 or 2005. The third, this is our uh, definition. That means the common reach the world. That means based on the catch up indicators, we find it the per capita GDP, per capita income, education, health, and other some indicators will be convergences. Last point, very important, with definition, the green the world. That means the China need to give a contribution green the world, I call it the green the contribution. I quickly to uh, mention about it, uh, China, a situation by 2030. Uh, firstly, we need to, from economic side, secondly, from science and technology, the third, from human development, the fourth, from uh, common rich ideas, last point, green contribution, from <coughs> green uh, contribution. Uh, the I Use the three approach to forecast the China GDP tendency uh, uh, with the US. Uh, firstly, we use the current uh, uh, exchange rate. Secondly, uh, based on the PPP current price. Uh, thirdly, we use the uh, Angus Madison uh, methodology based on constant price uh, at the PPP. Uh, that means in the uh, 1990s international uh, US dollars. This is uh, very professional to uh, uh, calculate. I introduce uh, uh, <coughs> coefficient, we call the catch up index, that the US equal to 100%. If I look at the 2000 uh, data, you find it, this three approach, very diversity, are very different 
That means uh, from uh, twelve percent uh, uh, to the uh, uh, fifty four percent. If uh, look at the two thousand ten, uh, from forty uh, percent uh, to the one hundred, that means uh, based on uh, Angus Madison data, two thousand eight U.S. is about. 1.07% of the China. But now, China is about 113% of the US. This is our calculate based on Angus data. If we look at the current exchange, we find it before international crisis, US GDP is about four times that of the China. 2010 declined to 2.5 times. 2011, last year, reduced to 2.1 2 or 2.2 times. This is reflects the China quickly catch up during the international financial crisis. So I call the crisis in Chinese words equal to opportunity. Very rapidly catch up with the US. By 2030, uh, based on our three approach, we find it very convergences. Uh, that means China is about two zero uh, time to the two point two time that's of the US. So I discussing exchange ideas with American scholars. Uh, mostly American scholars believe in uh, the China just only uh, over than the US, not think about the two time. Uh, this is a, a, a calculate, uh, a calculation very controversial. Uh, so I, I, I think we use a three approach to measure uh, them. Uh, <coughs> the secondly, we use a per capita GDP or GDP per capita. The, 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 the same conclusion. The China quickly to a uh, catch up. I use the uh, catch up index of the GDP per capita. By 2030, the China will become the high income country. This definition I call the when uh, one country or one region, the per capita GDP is over than 50% of the US. This is my definition. By 2030, if based on catch up index, the China catch up with the US from 52% to the 56%. This is uh, our conclusion. Uh, same conclusion, uh, uh, similar with the uh, World Bank report, same title, 2030 China. Uh, we not only uh, calculate the absolute uh, uh, but also relative coefficient. This is a reflect the China uh, quickly from, I call the uh, lowest uh, low income country in 1978. That means the China per capita GDP uh, account for about the half of the uh, low income average, just only 50%. By 2030, that means it take 50 years a uh, half years, half center years become low income. This is uh, reflect the China create economic miracle quickly to uh, uh, accelerate industrialization, modernization, and other some uh, 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 the factors. So <coughs> I quickly gave a, a, a summary of a, a book. Uh, that means uh, reflects the uh, future of uh, China and the world.
Uh, fourthly, the common prosperity the country. Uh, this mean, means very important uh, for the, our uh, target in the future. Uh, even this time, 18 Congress will be discussing about it, China goals by 2030. We gave a solid background research uh, for a uh, 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 report. Uh, secondly, common prosperous of the world. Uh, that means a big development, big convergences, a big rewards, a big transformation. Last point, the China will be the most powerful engine for the global economic development. The new uh, donors, international development assistance. Uh, my book, gave, we call the uh, very big uh, uh, ODA uh, uh, plan. Uh, that means uh, by 2015, the China ODA, uh, especially for the Asia, uh, Asia uh, and uh, the Africa, American, uh, North American, the poor countries, reach to the 0.3% of the GDP. That means uh, American. Uh, now, just only 3 point, uh, uh, 0 0.3%. By 2020, will be reached to the OECD's average. That means 0 0.7%. By 2030, more than 1%. So the China will be become a number one donation of the ODA. Last point, the leading country of the global big transformation. Promote uh, free trade, promote economic uh, globalization, promote a green the world. Uh, so if the China success, the world success. If the China failure, the world should be failure. Thank you very much.